So I got to take lots of turmeric prior. Oh, really? That's like a good um, homeopathic remedy mm -hmm. because turmeric um, helps with uh, swelling and bruising. So we are starting by pushing back Barbara's cuticles. Hi, Mary. Mary said hi. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining us today. I'm actually really excited because I love Barbara's nails with French. I love yeah, me a good French I nail. Do I don't think you've worn a French nail in maybe like three or four years, Barbara. I know. It's been a long time, hasn't it? They're too long. She's done every single color glitter. Oh, no. Lots <laughs> of black nails lately. Yeah. Barbara's like, I've had black nails the last three times I want not black so i was like let's do the opposite then and we're gonna use the rest of the manicure drill bit set oh, to begin birthday. oh well happy birthday now we're gonna use the rest of the manicure drill bit set oh my lip gloss <laughs> she said she's hiding at work watching <laughs> there we are. we're early but it's saturday wow. we're gonna go in and make sure we're on camera for this one there we go Oh, we got somebody from Phoenix watching. Wow, hi. Norma wants to know what surgery since you mentioned it. I am having, um, uh, no. It's a skin tightening procedure on my jowl. Because as we age, we get turkey necks. Yeah, that's And good. I, as you guys know, I used to be 544 pounds. And since I see my face on camera every day, um, my turkey neck really bothers me. So they're going to use a laser a helium laser or something like that really? and they stick it in your jowls and under your neck and they heat up the skin and it helps uh, the skin shrink and tighten up mm. so I'm a little worried because of the Valium because I've never had anything like that so they told me not to come to work that day but I was like well I mean it's a, it's an hour procedure and then you know it's it's under no anesthesia just local mm. you're brave so have you, oh, Barbara told me her Valium story already. Yeah. Let me know if you guys have had any uh, Valium. What should I expect? Okay, well, you are handsome. Oh, thank you. The doctor was like, yeah, you know, have a Valium and two extra chunks of Tylenol and you'll be good to go. Mary said she won't be able to work. Really? Does Valium knock you out that hard? I don't know. Some people, I guess. The things we talk about in our videos. <laughs> now we're going to use a flame. From, from Hi, thanks for joining us today. Norma says, my God, watch over you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, Leo said, yeah, no working for you. She said, really? Is Valium that strong? Yeah, she said, Mary said, you won't feel anything. I won't feel anything? And the doctor's like, we also have um, laughing gas if you want some with nit nitrates. Nitrous oxide. Mm -hmm. I was like, I've never had such a thing. You never had laughing gas while no. you to the dentist? Mm -mm. No. No. Oh, man. I'm a man, I take it. Mm. Laughing gas is hilarious. Really? <laughs> Chris sent some heart emojis. So mm -hmm. I had a dream I was in Thailand, Barbara. It has been a long time since I've been. It really has been. Mary said she lost the best. Really? Yeah. So Mary, she's a party girl then? <laughs> I don't know, <clears throat> Mary. You'll have to let us know. And Tony said she wants to see the pop in a moment, she said. Is she grading papers? Happy Saturday to the King of Nails. That's from Ellen. Oh, thank you. Hi from Colorado. Hi from Colorado. I am excited, you guys, because Barbara's going to be rocking up French today. I'm surprised I convinced her. <laughs> I'm going to use a flame bit again just to help lift up any dryness. So that way I can really trim as easily as possible for me so it won't be... Um, Tommy just came in with groceries, says Antonio. That's what you Oh. So what were you going to uh, tell me of your plans for Valentine's Day, Barbara? Well, my family's doing a Zoom um, 
Valentine's Day in remembrance for my one brother who passed away. Uh -huh. They were supposed to make Valentine's Day cards and, or something for him or both. Uh -huh. um, and me and my sister are doing both. What about food? What are you guys going to count down on? Are you guys going to go out to eat or order in? I'm fine, Chris. Thanks for asking. Rest. I'm sorry. It's Chris. Chris, please. Let's move it down. And then I think I'm going to use my scissors to nip, nip, nip. Snip, snip, snip. And there goes that. There's always a lot of snipping on me. Use my pink and I'm just going to begin to snip, snip, snip very gently any dry, non living tissue that is poking up at me. Ooh, we got Millicent from Aruba. Hi! Ooh, that's somewhere we can go, Barbara. Yeah, that's true. We could. We can go to Aruba and we don't need a quarantine. Yeah. Sign us up. Turkey's another country we can go to. Really? Yes. We can go to Liberia. Mm -hmm. That's a country with really interesting history. Have you heard of that country? Mm -hmm. So after um, Abe Lincoln freed, um, abolished slavery, a lot of them went back, wanted to go back to Africa, and we helped establish a country called Liberia. Hi, and Max, watching from Trinidad and Tobago. Hi. Hi. Beautiful island. So we helped establish Liberia, and um, they are kind of like... A little piece of America and Africa. In Africa. Yes. Yeah. And they have a very similar government to us, you know, with like a constitution and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. They were the first African country to have a woman president. Yeah. And they speak I English. That. Man, they speak English, right? And they love basketball. Sandra's said saludos de Mexico. Saludos a Mexico. No, Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Only the best. And don't forget, you guys, we also have Afterpay. We have Klarna on the website. We have PayPal. Every single measure credit card. Diners Club. Do you remember Diners Club, Barbara? Oh, gosh, I do. Carte Blanche. All the way. I was like, um... Hello. Is that for me? Yeah, that's Miss Judy. Oh, we got someone from South Africa. Hello, hello. Look how clean it looks now, Barbara. How does it feel? Feels good. Like wow. a brand new set, doesn't it? Yeah. Like a brand new woman. Well, it's very clean. Espinosa says hi, Max. Hello, hello. And Sonia says hello from Holland. Hi, from Holland, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to push back the cuticle again. And this is going to free up as much space as possible. So that way, the full coverage now fits really beautifully. Mm -hmm. We have Rossi from Madrid, Spain. Saludos a España, la madre patria. Oh, wait, somebody said hello from... The Vanger in Norway? Wow. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. That's another beautiful country. Yes, it is, isn't it? All the wooden buildings and things like that, that traditional Norwegian architecture mm -hmm. is so stunning. And so much folklore. Oh, yeah. We've got Erwin from the Philippines joining us. Mabu, hi. Oh, my God. So now I'm going to use the Russian manicure drill bit set, the diamond moon bit, and we're going to remove the shine off Barbara's nail mm -hmm. and also begin to buff out any dry non-living tissue aka make that skin smooth Janice wants to know if you ship to the UK we ship all over the world unless we have an embargo Jessica says you love your work mate. thank you oh we have Leah from Canada in the house bonjour did you see the Super Bowl show this, um... Oh, yeah, definitely. I was saying that for me, there's only one Canadian rapper, and that is Snow. Oh. Do you remember Snow? 
the song yeah. Informa. Yeah. 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 And he sounded like a Jamaican, but he was not Jamaican. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio. But Tom Brady must be a really good um, football player. So how many Super Bowls has he won? I don't know. I don't remember, but he's been in the most of any quarterback. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. What's your team, Barbara? The Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers? Is that your team? Yeah. I think that's Ignacio's team. And then the Bears. The Bears. <laughs> but Chicago is more of a um, baseball town, right? Oh no, they're serious about the Bears. <laughs> 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 the Bears. Chicago has two um baseball teams or one? Right. The White Sox? Like the White Sox and the Cubs. Wow. Oh. Not say the Cubs first. The Cubbies. So is there a lot of like bears out in Chicago or in Illinois because they have two teams that have reference to No. No, there's no bears in Chicago? I've never seen a bear and I've been all in all kinds of uh, parts of Illinois. Camping and stuff like that. Was there bears a long time ago? I don't know. Probably so. Probably like in California? Bears. They all died. So let's get our flashy ready. Ooh, Marissa's going to be so happy when she finds out that there's another Pittsburgh Steelers fan. <laughs> Tom Brady is a... <laughs> this is a shy football player making him into a Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting serious now. Do you know what America's football team is, though? Cowboys. <laughs> is it really our football team? That's, that's, that's what, that's what they, they say. La página de internet está etiquetada allí y todos los productos están ahí disponibles. So, very important when doing the phalanges is to leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area so that way you can blend in. If you apply the nails all the way to the back, it's going to be harder to blend in, mama, and it'll look more press on you. If you want it to look just like a sculptured nail, leave a tiny little space at the cuticle area. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So that way the machine can go back in there and do what she's going to do. Tell Marissa right now. Ignacio! Guess who's a Steelers fan? Barbara Mosley! <laughs> Go Steelers! That's her team. Really? Just yeah. like you. I know. I thought you were the Bears fan. Uh, I like the Bears too. No, you gotta say it how you're supposed to. A real the, Bears. <laughs> the Bears. The Bears. That's like a, said like a real Chicago night. Yep. Did you hear the song? I did. I couldn't believe it. So we're going to tailor the nail just a little bit to fit her cuticle uh, better. That's right. Así es. Seguro. Todos los productos están ahí disponibles. Todos, todos, todos. Am I still on camera? I think so, yes. I don't think so. I'm going to get a bottle of press on gel in pink. Oh, you know what Whoopi Goldberg movie I saw the other day? What? It's called Burglar. No, you're good. I think I can see it. Because you know me, I love all Whoopi movies. Yeah, me too. Which one did you see? Burglar. She did a lot of action comedy back in the day. She liked uh, oh, yeah, jumping off of buildings and everything. Yeah. I like, all, I like her movies. I like watching her. And she cuts us like a sailor. Oh, God, yes. So I'm gonna use pink press on gel because I wanna give that bright pink look. You know me, I love me, I've got a pink nail bed. And then we freeze. I saw Burglar and then I saw another one. What was it called? <sighs> Burglar and. I'm trying to remember. No, I saw that one a few weeks ago. It will come to me. What do I need to have or order? I have the. Oh, Fatal Beauty! <gasps> You've never seen Fatal Beauty? She plays um, an undercover cop in LA and at the beginning of the movie she doesn't look like a hooker and she's wearing like these bright ruby sparkly red shoes and she's wearing like this really tight neon green dress. Mm -hmm. 
I was like, wow, Whoopi had a body back in the day. Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, could you answer this question? What, what was the question, I'm sorry? What do I need to have or order? I have I have the nail foils, but I can't get them to transfer on my nail. Maxi Magic Film Glue is the adhesive for applying nail foils. Okay. And we have lots of videos also on how to use it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, that nail? Look at that. Oh, I like that. Isn't that chic? Yeah, that looks nice. It's very elegant. And it's a very nice length. It's a very career woman realness shape too. Not too pointy, not too round, not too square. She is just right. Antonia is giving all the information. Thanks, Antonia. She's on top of it all. The yeah, pink army. The pink army. In the house. The bears. <laughs> the bears. The bears. The bears. Does Chicago have a soccer team? I think they do, but I don't know the name. There's a few cities. I'm pretty sure Chicago is one of them that has all major league sports. Dallas is another. Yeah, what's Dallas soccer team? Oh. I don't. I don't watch sports. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the Super Bowl? Or did I you did not. Watch the I don't watch halftime shows because I don't want any songs from the weekend. Oh, you don't? No. Oh my god. But everybody was no. saying that all his backup dancers looked like they had jock straps on their face, and I was like, they kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forget what they said they were. That was honest. Honest. It looked a little bit too existential for me, though. Well, you know, no. I don't know. I, I, With I the bleeding, think like, it looked... Had one of the best no, do you know who had one of the best halftime shows? Diana Ross. Well, and it was in Phoenix, too! Yeah. That was a halftime show for the ages. And I liked Madonna's as well, so that was really good. And, um... The one that was in San Diego a few years ago, and they had Shania Twain and No Doubt, that was really good. Uh, what tips are these, Miss? This is French mini sculpture coffin. Oh, Nancy. Nancy Baez at the Chicago Fire. Thanks, Nancy. Chicago That's right. Fire. That's right. And you know what was another really good halftime show? The one where Janet Jackson exposed her booby. Oh, that was a great one. That was a really good halftime if you, if show. You have, if you ask them, a lot of men, they say that's the best one. They got In history. <laughs> <laughs> but it really was a good performance, though. It was a great performance. A lot of people still like Michael Jackson. Oh no! You know what was the number one rated halftime show? What, Prince? Prince. I liked both of theirs. I liked Michael's and I loved. Michael's. The Rolling Stones was really good too. That was a few years ago. Okay. If you start me up, yeah. if you start me up, I never stop. You make a grown man cry. And there's Barbara in the back shaking it. Antonio has answered these press-ons, especially made chips and gel. Pink press-ons, Pink press-ons, yes. Uh, Antonio says, I suggest you watch the video after this over so you can get everything you need. And if you think about it, I mean, all the drugs that the Rolling Stones have done, they probably pickled inside. Yeah. Uh, Jessica, I agree with you. I like the halftime show of Prince, too. Yes. Wasn't it raining when he sang, too? Like it was really raining? I can't remember. How do you remember those details? I don't know. I just have a plethora of random useless things. Oh, well, you need to go on a game show there. Is Jeopardy still on TV now that um, Alex Trebek has died? Oh, yeah. Guess who's the, the guest host? Ooh. Guess who? Ooh. Uh, the biggest one winner. Um, um, I was I just forgot his name. Oh, God. How can I forget his name? I watch Jeopardy every day. Um, um, Oh God! You know the blonde-haired guy that won. I've, I've never won. seen Jeopardy. Really? <laughs> Are you serious? All I know is that what is Barbara Mosley, or who is Barbara Mosley? <laughs> You're supposed to answer it like a question, right? Yeah, you have to answer it with a question. Ken Jennings. Ken Jennings. Is he funny? Ken Jennings is has dry humor. Ah. Mm -hmm. But I guess he's won so much that people kind of that people that watch the show would find him amusing to watch. Yeah. Well, he is the guest host for now. Until they find a permanent. The permanent host is supposed to be Lavar Burton. Who's that? He played Jordy LaForge on Star Trek: uh, Next Generation. SMG. You didn't watch Star Trek. <gasps> you were the one that told me that Whoopi was on Star Trek. Yeah. I'm a Whoopi fan. <laughs> She was, I loved her character on this interview. But was she funny or was she serious? She was very deep. Oh. Uh. Very deep. Yeah. 
she was the captain's really, really good friend. Really? So like kind of like um like an oracle. And she ran the bar. Oh, so she was like an oracle, like a therapist almost. Yeah, Space age therapist. Did. But she her um people lived a long time. Her race? So she was wise. I mean, she was way back in the days, and they did some ones where they went back in time. There was Gaia. Can you take them off? And I think they're better than acrylic. Lightweight, yeah. fast. Yeah. He has thousands of videos on his Facebook and IG. How long did that take to do, you guys? Literally, how long did that take to do? Like five minutes? I think if we weren't chatting so much, we'd probably be done already, but we always love to chit chat. No. <laughs> Spill a little so tea, fun. throw a little shade, yeah, see you. and we always gossip you. and we dance a little bit. And yep. where are my files? Gloria's always oh here it is. I'm gonna say Gloria's always moving right here. She's actually gonna spend the night at my house today. Yes, yeah, because we're gonna go shopping tomorrow. And she's gonna help me finish hanging all the clothes in my room too tomorrow. Oh, you're going shopping? Express. Did you use your, uh, closet or something? No, I wish. Well, I do want. I have a, we, I live in a very small, not small, but just in a normal ho home. I don't have a big house or anything like that. Not yet. Probably so I can fit everything in there. <laughs> you can buy a house for your stuff. <laughs> yes. I need, a, I need a house with wide open spaces. Yes, indeed. I live in a very normal home with my parents. But I'm kind of glad we got rid of the dogs in the back. Not Are like... You? Yeah, because my dad can't take care of them anymore. Oh, so you're giving them away. We did. I have the puppies that I have to give away, but like the bigger ones that were outside, you know, with his, um, after his stroke and everything like that, it was just too much for him. And he likes taking care of the small one. He loves Peaches. Oh, he does? Yes. Peaches is his baby. Peaches? Oh, Peaches is a small one. Oh, the outside ones? Yes. But, you know, the Humane Society will take really good care of them. Yeah, they will. We have a good Humane Society here. And I made, a, really I made a very decent donation to them. A very yeah. charitable. Yeah, I donate to them, although I don't like dogs. But I like what they do. Are you more of a cat person, Barbara? No. I don't want any pets. It, it's a lot of responsibility. It is. Look at that. So natural. So beautiful. Mm, just keep the shape soft, you guys. That's what Miss Mosley likes. Yes. Very soft, like. very natural, yeah. very everyday. Yeah. I like the way you shape the. the this is not, it could be. It could be still more round. But. And it'll round out a lot too by itself, just with the normal wear and tear. Yeah, I have long fingers, so almost anything looks good on me. Long fingers, long legs. I do. Do you have long That's arms? Like, yeah. You have a normal neck though, not too long. It used to be long. Really? With age? Yeah. Well, you know you're you get older. Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm like Quasimodo myself. <laughs> you're so funny. Like you're old. <laughs> But can you imagine, in 5th grade, I was this Really? Wow. Since 5th grade. Yeah, so you can imagine. You drinking goat's milk or something like that, bro, when you were a kid? You can imagine, I didn't have any boyfriends because I was too Taller tall. than everybody. Yeah, I was taller than everybody. So we're going to use a pink carrot bit to blend in the cuticle area. This is the, this is the part where your skills are tested. This is where the magic happens. Yes. But see, look at that. When you do that, it just looks just like a sculpted nail. Mm -hmm. It does. That's why it's so important to leave a little bit of space because if you put the nail all the way to the back, it's harder to get the bit in to blend out. My fur baby ran away, hoping and praying he is safe and warm and come home. Oh, oh I'm sorry to hear that. that. That's the worst. Yeah. I was so devastated when Peaches was lost, and luckily we found her. Yeah, you did tell me. The mailman was the one that let us know that he found her. Oh my god. Because we put flyers out, and I put my phone number because if I would have put my mom's phone number, they never would have. She never would have answered. Oh, 
Oh, let me see. So now I'm going to use the mixer bit, and I'm going to go back in and just really blend out. And this bit is so soft, it will never, ever, ever cut the cuticle or the skin. Because it is extra, extra fine. And remember, at all costs, avoid the white because the white is hand applied. And if you file the white, if you touch the white with a drill or a buffer, it can and will ruin it. So always be very de gentle and diligent when working around the white of the nail. Because we do not want to ruin that perfect smile line that's already been made for us. Yeah. But look how beautiful they are. Don't they look nice, Barbara? Mm -hmm. I think we should do diamonds on one finger. The ruby diamonds will really pop. Because they are ruby red. Because it just... I really like this look. I love me a good French. You just can't go wrong with it. Well, that's true. You know, it's like a black dress. All yeah. women have to have a black dress. Yeah. Do you have a black dress, Barbara, that you go to? Yeah, I have a few. Really? Really? No. Really? Mm -hmm. You have to have like color or something on it, like an accessory to like make it pop? Yeah. Me too. There are some colors that do not look good on me. Black doesn't look good on you? No, black does. Um, beige. Beige. Beige doesn't look good on me. Brown doesn't look good on me either. Purple. Like lavenderish? Oh, no. you mean lavender. Purple, Pinks. Purple I remember I bought this one of a kind Gucci sweater when I was in New York, mm -hmm. and I wore it at the show. And I looked back at the pictures, and I looked, it just looked horrible with it on. You look, um, washed out. It doesn't do anything. Mm -mm. To no. Yeah. And beige too. So right now I'm taking the twiggy file to really make sure those sides are nice and straight and sharp, and then I'm just gonna round out the shape even more so it looks more more soft hi from Greece thanks for joining us today oh you know what movie I saw that was really good about well, not really Greece directly, but she was married to a Greek. Was Great Gardens about uh, the Bouviers out in New York, the socialites? Oh, really? So oh, good. About Jackie O's yeah, cousins yeah. and her crazy aunt that had all the cats. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, Grace says she's getting ready to shop more booties. She loves your product. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Now we got Teresa from Rhode Island. Hi, Teresa. Look at that, so stunning. So now we're gonna take the... It's very you, isn't it, Barbara? I haven't had this in so long. It really has been a very yeah, long time. It's a long time then. So now I'm gonna take the purple si the purple buffer, I'm gonna take the smooth side, and I'm just gonna smooth out the edges so that way nothing snags or nothing tangles. Right. Don't want to get tangled in my hair. No, that new bundle, she's fresh. <laughs> You guys should check out Mrs. Original kit in collaboration with Female Couture. The kit has everything you need. Shout out to Sylvia, Mrs. Original. Really? Mm hmm. I want to place an order, however, I'm not a nail expert. Can a novice learn to do this? Oh, I'm sure, Marina. Look, Look at that. Point. So lovely. It's a very beautiful, natural shape when we round it out. It's just very everyday. And gorgeous smile on. And it's already pre-made for you. Yeah. Just remember, be really careful when filing the white. We do not want to file the white off, okay? Ooh, Jessica's getting ready to eat some Chinese food. Can you bring Ooh. me some? <gasps> oh. Ooh, that, what was that? Was that in chairs? Huh? Mm -hmm. So this wine wasn't... Oh. There we go. Uh, make sure it's nice and even. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. What? The nails? Yeah, the Baby, we can do it. Take the time. Do the line. We can do it, baby. Do it tonight. <laughs> Ooh, and then some Evelyn Champagne King. You I make know. my love. Calm down. Yes, you can learn. We watch this video before you buy. We have thousands of videos as well, too, you guys. Thousands. Yeah, there are. There we go. So now we're going to take primer and we're going to go around the cuticle area because this will actually melt really? the cuticle area so that way the nail just blends in perf um, perfectly because you can't buff the top of this nail because you will ruin the seal on the white that is hand applied. Really? Yes. So this is going to melt the top surface of the nail and blend in that cuticle. We're going to give it a few seconds to dry and then we're going to do our first cut of shiny. Angelica says, you both are so sweet, lots of hearts. Oh, so thank nice. you. Where is Miss Shiny? Oh, yeah. See, you did him right. You did him right, Max. We took it back. Yes. So we're going to let it dry for a few seconds, and then I'm going to do my first coat of Shiny, and then we're going to do rhinestones, and then one more coat of Shiny. Oh, okay. So we'll make sure that Shiny is all the way towards the back. I said I'm going to have these kind of nails in so long. It's been too long. Yeah, it's just an adjustment for me when this is all I used to get, remember? But isn't it so chic looking? Mm -hmm. It's like wearing Chanel. Mm -hmm. Shalimar! Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to think of that one song of yours. Oh, I can't think of that one. Mm. That was a smell, wasn't it? Oh, you mean the perfume. Shalimar. The group. <laughs> But that I was like everybody was That was like when you would go to the office, everybody that was the scent of a career woman, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, says you aren't doing red. We're gonna do red rhinestones, ruby colored diamonds on, on uh, what finger do you want, Barbara? I guess the ring finger. The ring finger it is. Uh, not, not my index, because I use that to, to point. Yeah. You need to get glove in a bottle. That's a great lotion. I I, I do, but but I they just got that dry from washing them and I put in the lotion back on. If I washed them before I came and then you did stuff and I went in there and washed them again. And our weather has been quite crazy as well too. Been crazy. So look at that, it just goes to show the versatility of the pink press on gel because you guys have seen it on me many times, you've seen it on really pale skin, you've seen it now on women of color, and it, look how flattering it is on her skin tone too. Because sometimes they'll be like, oh you know, it should be more beigey, but actually pink looks best on every single skin tone. Look how beautiful it is, it just looks so natural and bright, it gives a really good contrast to the nail bed, which is what we want. We want a beautiful contrast between the pink and the white. If it's too beigey or too orangey, it, it makes her hand look like it needs blood flow. So let's bake that for one minute, and I'm gonna go get some red diamonds. Good. Look at these, Barbara. Ooh. Oh, well, there's all kinds. Are those too big? Well, it is Valentine's Day, and you two got a big heart. I do. Maybe we should do the heart shape one. What do you guys think? Isn't it adorbs? It is. So we're going to use squeeze it today to apply. You can take it out now. Diamonds. Addy 
Roll the tip of the bling tool between the finger, like this. That's Australia, because I see a little kangaroo there. Oh, it hasn't come up with mine yet. From Australia, are you watching the Open, Trisha? Are you, have you been watching the uh, Australian Open? Have you, Barbara? Oh, absolutely. I'm a big fan. Um... How much would you charge on a client for the one, two, three, go now? Uh, maybe the same as that you would a regular full set. Because it's already pre-made, but it's the same product. <laughs> Antonio says, I love it. She said, uh-oh, the bling, the bling tray of doom is back. <laughs> the bling tray of doom. She was gone for a little while. but bling tray of doom. But look at that. Isn't that adorable? That's perfect. Oh, um, Atricia's been watching the Australian Open. It's amazing. Yes, it is. I have been totally enjoying it. Let's bake that there uh, 60 seconds. Ooh. Barbara is fancy now. You can't give me a price. You charge with your area of support. That's true, Antonio. Very true. It's hard for me to determine, say, okay, you should charge... You know, thirty dollars, fifty dollars, forty dollars. It all depends on your clientele, your skill level, and where you are. Exactly. Because you know, in New York, Miami, San Francisco, it costs a whole bunch more than it does. Cost of living, yeah, and then inflation now too. Mm -hmm. So I'm curing this at least one minute because I want to make sure it's dry all the way before I go in with shiny gel around it to make sure the edges are nice and sealed. Oh, hey, yes. Hello, hello. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. She says she's snatched for weeks. And days. <laughs> so we're going to go in with just a little bit of shiny gel. Pull it out now. Isn't that lovely? And I'm going to take shiny gel and put it around the diamonds. So that way I don't have to put it on top. So just around. So that way we don't take away any of the cuts on the diamonds. Really? Yes. So they won't look kind of bubbled in because... The nails are so simple, I really want them to to look snatched. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just going with shiny around the diamonds. The Jamie says she loves, loves, loves it. Yes, wants to know, is this a new shape? No, this is a mini, a French mini sculpture coffin, and we, yes, these are the French mini sculpted coffin, but we rounded them out a little bit for Miss Mosley. Okay, let's bake that for one minute. And I rounded it out, and all I did was I took just a really fine file, I took 180, and I just rounded in the corners a little bit, and then I took my purple buffer, and like, you know, when you take the claws off the cat, just do this in an upward motion, and it'll really soften it as well. Well, the yes is they look expensive. Don't they? They do. Barbara always used to get pink and white nails, and it has been years since we've done a French nail on her. Years. But it's a fun alternative. I think it's, you know, we've done so much designs and glitter and everything. Mm -hmm. And the diamonds really pop, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's like waiting for a countdown. The music? Yeah. Oh, it's Russian. Oh, okay. And we're going to finish, of course, with cotton candy cuticle oil. Very Valentine's Day esque. Yes. So remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we have to wait 10 seconds and then we apply our cotton candy cuticle oil. She wants to place an order. 
dog is in the mood. It is quite simple, but you need to have some basis on how to prepare the nail bed before application. Yeah, that's true. And there we have it. She is ready. Ready for V-Day. And that cuticle sheet is blended for filth. Look at that. And it really does look like a pink and white set too. It does. That smiling is perfect. So sharp and the shape is just so soft. Yeah. Very expensive as Barbara said. <laughs> Somebody said that. <laughs> well my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Jackie says you need to be lined and dined with that man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Barbara's got quite a few selections, doesn't she? <laughs> that's going to wrap it up for today you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks Barbara for coming by. Uh, it's been my pleasure. It's been a fun one. Stay out of trouble, you guys. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. Don't forget the promo code HNY15 to save 15% off your entire purchase. And tomorrow, and I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Antonio.